So welcome to day three of Plastic Free July. My name is Kara Michelle and I'm here to help you live your truth. And I wanna share a really, really simple switch. This is something that we hear talked about on the media or in the plastic free movements very often uh, for a good reason. Now, every single thing I'm gonna be sharing throughout the month is obviously an important switch when possible. And this is probably one of the easiest ones that you can do and take part in right away that's going to help so, so much. So let's dive in. Okay, guys, so our tip of the day today is related to plastic straws and getting your own stainless steel reusable straw. There are also bamboo straws out there. Um, there is the option, some places have the option of getting like cardboard but obviously that is more single use so that's still creating waste whereas something like this one like i love this one just like a perfect little um straw and what i do is i keep i have i bought a kit that had a couple of them and like i said yesterday in the grocery hacks um video i keep this stuff with me so i try to keep one straw in my purse. I've got a little thing in there. Um, I have a straw in my car when I had my car and I had some at home when I just like was making a smoothie and felt like drinking from a straw. So the more prepared you are by having these things with you, the easier it's going to be to say no. When you go to a restaurant, simply just saying, oh, no straw, please. And I know a lot of restaurants have been being a part of this movement and cutting back, which is amazing because you think about it. And I used to be a server and a waitress for years. So you are literally taught to put a straw in every single drink, no matter whether it's for a man, whether it's for a woman, whether it's a small glass or a big glass, it's just like, oh, you got to put that straw in there before you take it to them. And why? Like, we really don't need these. It's just become kind of like a luxury and a habit and something that some people like. And I know for myself, even as a child, or like as a teenager, maybe not as a child, but I needed a straw to drink anything. If I was, I am still a tea-aholic and I love tea. I drink like two pots of tea a day. Um, but even as a kid, when I was drinking my tea, I drank from a straw all the time for my tea, which is really weird. Um, but that's a lot of plastic straws that you use. And it, they actually say, and I've got this in front of me so that I say the right number. Because if you haven't caught on, I, I know my stuff, but like in terms of retaining and remembering the exact quotes and stats, it's not always there. So, so um, in the United States alone, 500 million straws are discarded every single day. 500 million every single day. And it makes sense because you think of like such a big population, um, a big country, every single restaurant, obviously that stuff would have died down with lockdown and COVID. But in general, when you think about that, 500 million straws every single day. And the problem with these, and we've seen this in some of these campaigns with the turtle that had the straw in his nose and just like heartbreaking. Um, we've seen it with other wildlife that have encountered straws or um in the ocean and the biggest one of the biggest problems with that is actually um, half in the sun one of the biggest problems with that is actually the fact that because the plastic and plastic straws is so small and so thin it does tend to break down but it doesn't break down and disappear it breaks down into microplastics these little tiny tiny plastics that then are still in the ocean or in the environment and like get eaten by other animals they get mistaken for food it just becomes a part of the food chain and then it's just not healthy it's not good now you think about plastic and the amount of chemicals that are in plastic so what would that do to a fish's body to be eating like a bunch of little microplastics and then if you're eating fish well, you could be eating a lot of microplastics. They've actually found that majority of salt contains microplastics. So it's everywhere because, because the plastic is everywhere and because we haven't found a better way to um, clear it out. So 
it's just like unless we stop this at the source it will continue to do what it's doing right 500 million plastic straws a day in america alone what about the rest of the world like that's going to be billions of straws a day showing up in in landfills or in the ocean so ideally we wouldn't have straws at all but if we do what are your options it's like having your own reusable one there's also super cool um uh, glass ones people who make like handmade glass products can make really cute um straws with that for you uh and there's also just the option of simply saying no like i don't need a straw and going like um, at a restaurant, no thing, no straw, please. And instead of like us getting it with the straw, taking the straw and putting it on the table, well, it's still going to go in the garbage now. So just, just remember to ask, no straw. And I don't think, um, I think at any kind of sh shop you go to, if you are bringing your own mug or your own cup and you've got your own straw, then you're good to go. And so, as I said at the beginning, this is really about planning ahead a lot of the times and just having your own little toolkit that allows you to be plastic free. And so with that said, make sure you comment down below, I'm creating a healthy planet and share this on Instagram, tag myself and tag healthy planet because we are giving away at the end of the month, we're giving away two plastic free starter kits, sharing some of these tools that I'm diving into over the month that are gonna help you create your own little plastic free bundle so that you are prepared and that you have this stuff to go to the stores and uh, avoid using a lot of these single-use plastics that are easily discarded, break down really easily, and are here on the planet and in the ocean forever. So make sure you do that. Please hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe and turn on the notifications. And uh, I will see you on the next video for Plastic Free July tomorrow. And let's all do our part every single day and that is part of the reason i've split this up into this kind of format because i've got a huge document bro breaking down the whole month now i could just go through and try to make all of that into one video and do it really quickly but i wanted to break these down point by point and little switch by little switch so that you don't feel overwhelmed and maybe you're already doing some of these so let me know in the comments below if you're already doing this with the bring your own straw um if not now you have a little tool that's super easy for you to use and switch out of and like i said the more prepared you are the better so if you can put these in your car put them in your purse have one at work and just start saying no to plastic when it does show up a lot of times we feel weird to say that we're like oh i'm gonna stand out or i'm gonna be a problem well the more you educate yourself on the amount of plastic that's being used uh, <laughs> there's too much sunlight coming in on half my face the more you educate yourself on how much plastic's being used the easier it's going to be for you to speak up and just say like no i don't want that straw or no and you don't feel like a weirdo if you're with co-workers at lunch and they're all not asking it's an opportunity for you to gently educate them and say like oh did you know that 500 million straws are used a day in america alone and these straws don't recycle and they break down into microplastics and they're here for hundreds of years in our system i mean most people some people don't know that so you bringing your own straw or you saying no to a straw can open a conversation where then you're able to educate so uh, leave it there. I'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure you check out some of these other videos here. And if you haven't already, please check out the links in the description box below because there is an amazing, amazing free mindset training for those of you who are eco warriors and you're ready to change the planet, but you need the mindset and the confidence to do so. So hopefully I see you there and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.